If you want to do something really scary and thrilling, you can obviously watch the 430 second sequel of Saw, or you can actually try to put frameless filters into a filter wheel without any dust, any fingerprints, anything else being left on them. And this is what we try today. I have 8 Antlia filter, 36 millimeter, and I have the Moravian filter wheel. And I have no clue how to do it. I've never done it before. So let's have fun together right after the trailer. <laughs> Hey, this is View Into Space. I'm Sascha from Switzerland. So great to meet you and thanks for watching my channel. Okay, let's get it going. I have a second camera up here, which shows my desk. So you can watch any stupidity that I'm doing. Now, but before we start, it's crucial to dress up. And what I mean with that is I have gloves and something we're very used to wear since about three years. Masks absolutely need it when dealing with filter, with filter wheels, when you don't want to get all your spit and whatever on the filters. Because a little bit of dust we can blow away. But with anything wet, it gets really an issue. And so we're ready. Let's start the surgery. And I would be so happy now to tell you welcome to my computer because I feel so much more comfortable on my computer than I feel with this stuff here. But has to be done. So let's get it started. So here are the filters. I have it actually sorted because I think the worst thing that can happen that you install the filters and at the end you don't know anymore which filter is which. So, they're already sorted, L, R, G, B, R plus, and then the three narrow band filters. What else do we have on the table? We have some screws provided by Moravian. We will see what we have to do with that. I have a blower if some dust lands on the filter. I have a lot of tools. I have at the end the off-axis guider and that's everything. And you know, it's funny, they have wonderful manuals for the camera, but there's no manuals at all for the filter wheel. So it's guesswork. We see some screws. So I would suggest we just open them up and hope we can rip the whole thing apart. So here I have my wonderful set of Allen keys, which I received from Avalon. And I already said there that I will forever cherish this set because it's really high quality and you have all the sizes and that's the right size. Cool. Okay, so let's just open the thing up. So that's a very long screw here. And now I took every possible screw away, which means I should not be able to open it, and I am. Okay, that's how it looks from the inside, also very, very nicely done. And here is now the filter wheel. So you can also take the filter wheel out. It has two sides, and obviously here it's numbered from number one. But so I think we can put this here to the back and it might even be a good idea to kind of close this down again because if we close this down there will be no dust on the sensor which is definitely something which we do not want so okay so this is protected so now first we have to figure out how this should work so we have a million of different screws but i still don't get how the filter will be fixed so let's just try this out if we empty here a little bit. Okay, so the way I understand it is that once the filter is on here, you put these little things here on top and then you screw it in and this will actually keep the filter tight. And we will try that now just with our first victim. And given I might do something stupid, I will use with the filter which is easiest replaceable and that would be the luminance filter which anyway comes in number one so that's quite convenient 
And as I already mentioned, Antlia filters just have the most beautiful casings. Doesn't really matter once you have actually entered the filters, but anyway, it has to be said. I just gave such a filter case away to my son who did some salt crystals and he was really happy to have such a beautiful case to display his salt crystals. Anyway, so they can be very well recycled even once the filter is in the filter wheel. So it says open here. So we follow that and we can see that there's a second case within this or second envelope within the first envelope. Okay, now comes probably the moment of truth where we have to open this up. And yeah, and here's the filter. So that's now the moment of truth where I should actually probably not touch the thing. So can I just slide it on here? And here we go. So we just touch it here. And we put it here in the filter wheel and it's done. Hey, cool. Okay, feels already like a very, very small victory early on. <laughs> so let's now see if my theory with these rings is correct. So I place now such rings in here. Another one. These gloves, they have advantages and disadvantages. Disadvantage is obviously that makes me even more clumsy than I anyway am. So screw number one. Okay. So let's see, so the filter really is holding inside. Until now it hasn't caught any dust. So let's get going. Red. Now actually, that's interesting. If you can see that here in the camera, there's this little bit of red on there. Now this actually shows you what this is. This is a great idea because especially with this unframed filter, this looks actually blue. So would I have any clue if out of whatever reason I would mix that up, that this is red? I wouldn't. And Aunt Leah, if you're watching this, I would just appreciate that these envelopes would be just a tiny little bit larger because it's so hard to get these filters out and you shouldn't grab them. So you practically have to try here until they, they fall out. So that's, uh, that's not good. Okay, now I get it. So the bluish, yellowish, whatever, red, it's red. So number two, red. Let's see if I'm lucky again, like before. Yep. Okay, number two, green. Let's, let's see how green looks like. It's a little bit like Christmas. I think my wife would like such boxes for Christmas just filled with, definitely with something else than Astro filters. And who would have known it now the, the green filter is red. That's what I mean, these, these marks, they're really lifesaver because you would never guess it. Okay, and that's number three, yes. So, L, R, G, B, blue, correct. And you know what the irony is? Today's actually clear sky. I could be outside taking photos, but no, I'm inside installing filters. Because without filters, no photos. Okay, and so the blue filter is yellow. Actually, when you look at it like this, it's a little, really a little bit reddish green, but if you look at it in a case, they have really other color. And you know, Antlia, did I mention already that I hate your envelopes? I think I did. This is golden actually, that's nice. You know, quite honest, I, I just have to discuss this again. If you have such nice cases and you have such a nice inlay, why not actually just put the filter, there's a little bit, you know, it goes a little bit lower and you put the filter in here. So you just go, whoops, and you have the filter. Instead of this, anyway. It's actually really nice how it shines golden when you look at it like this, but when you look through, the, the blue shines through. So that's really kind of cool. Okay, let's put it in number, whoop. That's a miss. No, good. Eee. And my favorite task again. Oh, you know, 
look very closely, you see that the dust is slowly settling. So we have to blow that off afterwards. Very good. But yeah, that's unavoidable. Um, there, there is dust in such a room. We don't have a clean room. And so dust, you, you cannot omit that while doing that. That's a little bit the, the unfortunate part here. Okay, and my last training filter because the, the expensive ones come. So that's the R+, the infrared filter. And because of this, I need this 10 slot um, filter wheel to get all the filter in. So that's like dark green when you look from here. And I think I get better in getting these filters out. Instead of an hour, I need now half an hour for one filter to get it out. Amazing. Yeah, it's really dark greenish. Beautiful, like Matrix style. They put two red dots here for R+. Okay. So we skip the number six and we take seven, eight, nine for HA, O3 and S2. And let's start with H alpha, 2.8 millimeter ultra, 36 millimeters. Now the irony is, as soon as I got them, they published the 2.5 nanometers. Should I have waited? Do I even want 2.5 nanometers? I don't know, I decided I do not need that. Don't ask me why, but I don't need that. I'm very, very happy with the 2.8. Actually, that's what I always wanted. No 2.5 millimeters for me. So it's interesting, but for a color code, they will not put on HA if they go with the same system as before. There should be now something on there. You wanna guess? Red, two lines of red. So the same as with the R plus filter, but completely different color. So the good thing is I have it all on video you know, on YouTube. So if I ever don't know anymore, I just watch my own video and I don't know. So completely silver, beautiful. Okay, I could also use this as a little pocket mirror. Tick. Number seven, HA. Number eight, O3. Okay, it seems to be the same and it has a blue, one blue line. I think you would have guessed that now. So the secret is to kind of roll it out. Then you get it out rather, rather good. It's also the same, so it actually isn't too able to distinguish from the looks except of this mark at the side. That's why the mark on the side is so extremely important. Okay, and last but not least, number nine, S2. So from a logic point of view, I would now have to find a green marking. Let's see if I'm right. There's no marking at, ah, there it is, green, yes. I'm fully routine now, so. I could now unpack another 100 of these filters. Number nine, ka -ching. By the way, I have now two empty slots. So any filter producer who want to convince me that beside the filters I have now in here, I need some other ones, just, just write me an email. Very interested. I could put a paper sign in here. Your filter could be here. I think, isn't there nitrogen? I think so, you can also have, a, and then obviously um, H beta, right? I think it's H beta. So we had a lot of fun and it just looks beautiful. Doesn't it look beautiful beside all the dust which has already accumulated, which looks not beautiful at all. For that we have now this here. So dust you shall be gone. Good. Now we'll take this here down again. Let's put it like this. This comes in here again, right? Yes. Then let's close this. Good. Let's put the plexiglass on top. This plexiglass is really convenient. Okay, and now comes the big moment. If I can put this screw in, a long one, then it should be good. 
and it did actually work. Cool. Okay. And with that, we screw in all the other ones. Okay. And so now, last but not least, we can actually put the off axis guider on here. So that comes like this. And it's fixed with these three screws. Okay, and done. And after I put everything together, I was starting to shoot astrophotos without any issues, without any problems. It was just bliss and happiness until the end of my life. <laughs> yeah, right. There was actually a very interesting issue that came up with exactly the filter wheel we looked at, but which is not only relevant for this filter wheel, but for any filter wheel. And what the issue was and how I was able to solve it in my next video. To ensure that you're not missing it, please subscribe. See you next time and clear skies.